Hola, welcome to our friends. Doing your heart spread. I'm gonna call it the end of September, guys. Take it as you may. <laughs> um, that's the time frame. Doing this today on the 20th, um, the um, full moon Pisces. There's a full moon Pisces uh, reading up on my page from uh, yesterday, so check it out if you haven't. And I hope, um, of course, you guys have checked out the Soul Family read. It's a collective read for whoever resonates. See if you think you might be part of the Soul Family. I'm using the Ethereal Visions Illuminated Tarot. I'm going to do your heart spread here. This uh, reads who's uh, on your mind, who's in your heart. And uh, we'll get some uh, comparison, uh, looking at uh, uh, vice from spirit and how you guys react to each other, advice for the relationship and the outcome. And I usually get a lot out of eight cards. This is uh, my spread I like to do the most. So let's see, make sure to hit the thumbs up and uh, the like and the ding subscribe you know the deal <laughs> i hate that part of it i swear to god but well, i want to get some script subscribers when we get to 1000 we go live i think even heart spread they'll do them live i think it'll be a lot more fun people can interact i have to figure out how to get that all uh figured in with the uh, computer and um i guess if i could just see people because i kind of have to concentrate on reading so that's my only concern with that i still look forward to it. it's gonna be a challenge for me to stay like connected and uh, it's kind of hard just to even just talk. <laughs> let's see. So let's see what we got. This is you guys. Six of Cups. So where you're at in terms of love and relationship, where your mind and heart is at right now, and it's very emotional, number one, Taurus. So you're looking at maybe cancer energy in your natal chart, you know? Keep an eye on some, on that. Um, as you know, a transit affecting that right now. Uh, because of some way that's in your chart um, that's making you particularly emotional. And of course, it's also the soulmate chart card. It's also the uh, card of looking back, you know, fondly with rose-colored glasses of the nostalgia and everything, that kind of emotion. But I like to emphasize that it's just, I mean, look at, okay, again, I kind of, just read intuitively. You look at this card and how does that affect you? It's it's wonderful, right? It's like a peaceful energy, two children playing in the flowers in the summer, and they're warm and just safe and um, peace, very peaceful, and little flowers in the cups, um, kind of clear blue sky, bright day. I mean, this is wonderful energy to be in. I don't know how you could see it in any other way. Now, in the heart spread and in this position, I try to separate this. They try because it's not always possible. Depends on kind of how strong our, our love is, I think, uh, from how one you're feeling about them, and, and separate it a little bit into how you're just feeling in general. So if this is your reading, you can kind of relate to what I just said. Now this is where they're at. Wow, temperance keeps coming up. Thank you, spirit. Get it? So temperance card, Sagittarius card. Maybe they're Sagittarius. Uh, sun, moon rising in Venus. You know, keep that in mind. Um, Maybe even Jupiter, look at if it's prominent for them. Um, but with Major Kana too, they're coming in very strongly. If they are a Sagittarius, another way I'll look at this card here is that they're being themselves. So however they're being, they're being themselves. Um, only caveat is if they're being assholes, never assume they're going to change because people don't change. But if they're being cool, <laughs> um, I think you could say that there's no pretense to them. That's what I want to say. They're coming in uh, without pretense to you. To me, this really does feel like a soulmate uh, thing. Six of Cups to Temperance is uh, Six of Cups is you feeling like, wow, I've known you before and I feel so good with you and I feel like I can tell you anything and trust you and I don't even know you. And then they're like, they're kind of the same thing. It's that energy of just being good, everything being good and flowing and, but you know, um, at the very least, as they come in, they're in a wonderful place to enter a relationship. Their, their life is going well, they're focused forward, they're focused on the positive, and you're coming in with this energy of being, you know, very much uh, emotionally grounded, Six of Cups, Seven of Pentacles. Now, once you're in the relationship, 
look at this as being bad, and I, I do love this Seven Pickles, it captures the spirit of it. Um, but you're taking a minute now that you're in the relationship, I mean you are an uh, earth sign, um, so maybe this is, if this is a Sag, you know, they might not understand that, because I'm a Sag, it's like, what do you mean? We've been on two dates. Well, why can't you tell me you love me? <laughs> How long do you need? You need forever? <laughs> and you're like, Jesus Christ, it's only been two dates. What the hell? Did you just say you love me? You're kind of freaking me out here, Sagittarius. I would like say they're Sagittarius, but they're kind of bringing that same kind of energy. And so you're kind of looking at things, and you're looking at things in the Taurus way in terms of nuts and bolts, you know. I think this is great because... You know, the bad thing you could say about Six of Cups energy is that it's um, um, it's not rational. It could be irrational. You can be kind of overwhelmed with that sense of soulmate and nostalgia and emotional, you know, goodness. And particularly when you get sex involved and, and then, you know, anything like practical can go out the window. But no, you're being very grounded about this and you're taking a very realistic assessment of them right now. Uh, cross watcher if you're cross watching don't worry right now uh, it just shows that they are interested because they're interested enough or Taurus you're interested enough uh, to take this seriously you know like you might not like it if someone were to come in and not really think it through and take it seriously and then suddenly be all over you you'd be like what the, what, are you mentally ill what do you haven't even but you're not like that you're really thinking it through like uh, how would your lives work together where am i at in life can i really accommodate a partner do i have time what about them what, are, do I, am i really sure about their character i haven't known them that long that kind of thing wow <laughs> seven of pentacles to the seven of wands wow i i don't want to narrow my reading down to a sagittarius but you know this is exactly what I was saying. Like, you're, I, I'm not just saying this because I'm trying, because it's Taurus reading, I'm trying to blow smoke up your ass, okay? But this feels to me six of cups to the seven of pentacles. Water and pentacles go together. What, I mean, water signs and earth signs, okay? Uh, and there's a solidness to it. Uh, you're bringing in the sincere emotion, and you're grounding it with this careful, like, Virgo like calculation of what's going on. Uh, and this is your person here. Now, how do they feel when they're reacting to you? They're feeling defensive. And it's fire. You know, wands are fire. Um, and so this could be them. I'm not saying that anything like violence. I'm saying um, they could be a little reactionary. They may, uh, you know, uh, like you say to them, no, you know, I'm really sorry. I can't see you this weekend coming up, honey, because... Uh, you know, it's a family reunion weekend, it's a bit lot going on, and I'm really not ready to introduce you to my children yet. And they're like, you know, maybe say something a little out of line or flippant or something. But it's because Taurus, you know, they, they really uh, maybe feel like, um, you, you know, why, why would you say that? You know, the, they don't really understand boundaries maybe in the way you do. And, uh, <clears throat> That, I hope that's some help too, because then you kind of understand where they're coming from. You know, maybe, you know, when they say a little flip and comment, kind of go there and say, we're going to have a relationship, you need to understand, I'm not, there's nothing against you, right? Okay, so let's see what we get. This is your advice in the relationship with this person, uh, Nine Swords. I'm not really sure on this. I might have to clarify it. Spirit, I'm not sure. Um, it could go a number of different ways. It could go that way. Let me look at where their, what their advice is. King of Swords. This is interesting now. And their advice is to be the King of Swords. I, I wanted to use before the word insincere, but it may be like a lie. But I feel like there's something. You're, you're doing your Seven of Pentacles checkup. And, you know, this could include, I mean, it could include running criminal background checks. Okay, that's what I'm talking about here. Nuts and bolts here. And it's not unreasonable. I mean, I wouldn't, but um, it wouldn't be unreasonable, certainly, for any woman to do it. I mean, in this day and age, I'm not saying that's it, but I'm saying it's that kind of a thing. We're really getting down to it, you know, and you're finding something that's, appears to you to nine of 
gets you in the nice solar energy. And I think that's what this is speaking to. Um, if not, you may not have happened. This may not have happened yet. It's basically saying, you know, you're you're because it's coming underneath the seven of pentacles. Your assessment is gonna you're gonna need. This is where you're gonna end up with, you know, this advice from spirit. So I see this kind of a warning. I don't think you're in this yet. Um, but as and as I say it, you probably would be going, you might even have a go, oh, I know what that's about, and I kind of meant to get to that, or I was not sure. Um, now their advice, um, I think this is very clear also, their advice from spirit, if you're cross-watching, but otherwise, um, Taurus, your person's advice is to be very clear and strong, and like man up, woman up, adult up, um, that kind of energy, and, and with the King of Swords, and coming from advice, it's like the, the advice is never to be low, so it's to have the highest octave of the King of Swords energy, you know, and that's someone who knows their mind, uh, knows what they want, uh, is not afraid to say it to people, uh, they look at, just look at the face on this guy, and he looks like, if he looked at you, he'd be like, oh shit, if I look away, right? Unless you're a dom, man, staring you down. That's what a king of swords would do, just stay. Wouldn't even have to use the word. Just look at you, man. Um, and someone that's very forthright and honest, you know. Because um, I think that's what you want from them here. Even though what I think you find out, it, puts you, it really does upset you. And I think what comes on here, too, with the six of cups, what you find out is actually around uh, something with Neptune in the chart and your synastry and your composite and your own chart. Usually it's the romance phase of the relationship. And I think this sort of like brings your romance phase to like a short end because you really wanted to believe, you kind of came into this wanting to believe that, this, that you were gonna find your soulmate. Maybe you're manifesting. And then you're finding with this in, in the future that maybe you know, I'm not even prepared to say it's not your soulmate. I'm just saying you're going to find something that's going to be like, wow, this kind of sucks. I didn't think my soulmate would make me feel this way, Nine of Swords. Wow, I like this. So this is advice from Spirit. Right here in the crucible of the heart spread, the core of this relationship. I just have a feeling there's something here. Um, I, you know, I'm going to go there. I'm not a big twin flamer. <laughs> You know, but this to me would be twin flame energy because it's kind of, it's very agitated. I mean, you're, you're uh, Taurus doing your agita agitation in a very Tauran way, um, and that's fine. Uh, with the Seven of Pentacles, that's kind of you. Like, if you got to stop and really think about these things, it's kind of like uh, you're obviously not feeling like go, go, go energy. And if your person is a Sag or even a fire sign, you know, they're responding with being kind of agitated, Taurus. Um, they're not liking it. They're being defensive. But the overall energy being the Empress, it's um, both of you, your person here, being honest and open and kind of manning up, womaning up into the relationship, taking it seriously. And it's the same thing for you, Taurus, but, you know, this is going to be your guard. So it's kind of saying, like, um, this is advice relationship as a whole that's okay. It's like, I get the feeling like this person kind of has to level up a little bit to get to where you are. I think you come in more naturally with the Empress energy um, and your person's energy is less grounded. And you know, that's why they're kind of going off. Uh, the, the way they react to whatever your Seven of Pentacles is, however you expressed it, is, is immature, not, uh, unconditional love, um, it, it's kind of a little low vibe reaction here from them. And you know, this is definitely coming under it, you know, bring it way, way up, you know, in terms of communication. And with the Empress here, it's almost like there's like some healing between you or you're gonna get to this really wonderful place together. Um, let's see what the outcome is. When we go from the seven of wands to the nine of wands, wow. I think this is both of you, and we end up with fire here too. Um, I was gonna say, I was about to say, you're kind of a, getting, you're gonna be more dominant in this relationship, 
but I don't think so. I think what this Empress energy is, is you guys kind of getting equal. Um, it's kind of them appreciating you and your kind of earth energy and grounded, groundedness. And really, you appreciating their fire energy. Whatever this fire is, this is what they're bringing to your life. Also, you ask yourself, do they, okay, probably Taurus, your life was okay, you know, but you've got this energy where you're thinking about, this could be a past person too, I should always say, but yeah, I'm working retrograde, hello, coming on us. And, um, you know, it's that kind of energy too, because it, you literally may look, you know, it's much easier once you already, even if it went bad, weirdly, it's usually easier to step back into that and you have that feeling of connection and memories together. Uh, if it's not the soulmate reaction, you know, but I think your person, um, they may be a little more fiery, um, outgoing, and maybe you need a little in your life, a little fire in your life, you know? Um, and so, like, when you guys come together, um, it's a match that bring, makes you both uh, more solid and in this empress energy. And I think it does it by kind of pulling you out, Taurus, and it helps them by kind of pulling them down <laughs> Uh, grounding them. You're kind of grounding them and they're kind of like firing you up at the same time. But the outcome of it uh, with the Nine of Wands, it's it's a little hard. Why well, call it? Like it could be Twin Flame energy too here um, because this is exactly how it works. Why well, I don't want anything to do with a Twin Flame. I've had that manifestation since 2012 and I manifested for life partner but I'm 61 years old. Now if you're 20, you can handle this Twin Flame shit because it's tough. It's not easy. Uh, or if you're very committed. I mean, I think it's a kind of twin flame if it exists, I'll give it that. Uh, it would be like a fast track to spiritual growth because it's all about spiritual growth, really. It's not really about the romance, how we grow and learn. But in a twin flame, but another thing is it's gonna take work and it's, uh, you know, wounded warrior. I see you both kind of accepting each other and kind of maybe part of that acceptance is that, you know, um, we are both kind of wounded in our own way, but it's okay, you know, uh, this, this soldier's uh, going to get back in the war or get out. Either way, he's alive. He's fine. And you learn a lot from those battles. So I wouldn't say the nine of wands here is a bad outcome either. This may take a little time. Well, that may be the whole point here. Um, and the main thing for your cross watcher is whatever this is throwing you into this nine of swords and i think it's a discovery realization maybe a discovery um uh, you know just flat out go honest right direct mature you know and i think if that happens there's a lot of promise here for you guys you know to create really sort of a solid abundant life it's sort of like a real love um, Opposites attract situation that feels like Taurus. So thank you guys. Queen of uh, Wands on the bottom of the deck too, I should say. Usually I've been counting that more and more. And I kind of, I feel like this Queen of Wands goes with the Nine of Wands. It's like, uh, yeah, once you guys get through all this, your relationship's going to come off. Maybe you're Leo rising and you're composite, but your relationship's going to come off with kind of a glow on it, like a Leo couple. Um, and I think it's going to bring your energy up a lot, like uh, get you out more, make you more outgoing, that kind of thing. Um, and you're just teaching your person, you know, about being grounded and commitments, responsibility, all that second house stuff, that Sagittarius. Hey, <laughs> thank you guys.